Well, I'm driving in the first JL that WFO ever built. Uh, the JL Rubicons had just come out and this Jeep was uh, shipped up to us from Jason Shear, who was working with Starwood Motors out in Texas. And we built this Jeep in approximately seven days and it went straight to Eastern Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah and went wheeling. So uh, I think Dynatrack had done one of these, not a Rubicon on one tons at that point. Um, so we were probably the second one. So this Jeep has a Dynatrack, Dynatrack Pro Rock 60 in the front and a Pro Rock 80 in the rear. So we had seven days to design, build, finish, powder coat, and send the Jeep out to Utah. And uh, we accomplished it. And this is probably the third time we've seen the Jeep. Um, it's been sold and it has a new owner and he brought it up to us to kind of do it once over and we added a few things and since we've had the jeep or since we built the jeep you know they've obviously added some things too uh this jeep was white to begin with so if you look back on youtube years ago you'll see the build of this rubicon it was white uh when it went back to texas after east jeep, Easter jeep safari starwood did their uh, signature spray on coating um, on the inside here, it's pretty simple. It's got a Cobra CB. It has the air compressor, uh, one of the front lights, and the front and rear lockers, because this thing has ARBs on the auxiliary switches. And then they've also added this nice uh, thumb button switch pod, which has a spot for four more switches. So it's pretty clean and normal inside the Jeep. Um, we're gonna pull up here by the shop and get out and we'll kind of walk around the underneath of it and show you our uh, prototype long arm we did on this thing and uh, what it's all about. Well, another one back to the nest. So this is a 2018 JL. As I said, we built it for Starwood Motors in 2018 and it went to, I believe the 2018 Easter Jeep Safari. Could be 19, I can't remember. Um, but now it's back. It used to be white. It has the Starwood Signature Series spray on this, the hard top, doors, everything. A uh, guy in California bought it now. He's the new owner. It has 28,000 miles on it. And I uh, just kind of wanted to show you this build. I mean, it's hard to believe a JL one ton build is five years old. Um, one of the things that kind of stands out on this one is uh, these rock sliders. So we haven't seen a lot of these out in California, but I do like the sliders. So they did this back there after we sent the Jeep back. These are road armor rock sliders. And then something else is cool is these are the road armor uh, tube fenders for JL. Typically you wouldn't think road armor would have a very good product. Us people out here in California don't seem to use them as much, but I'll tell you what, these are super rigid. I love how they're formed. They're powder coated black. And one of my favorite parts about these, and we didn't install them. I'm just seeing it here on the Jeep and I really like what I'm seeing. Um, but the inner fender wells really fit nice on these. Um, even t covers up this spot right here where all mud and dirt and stuff throws up inside the, uh, inside the Jeep. So the outer fender and the inner fender go really well together. Um, this Jeep right here has some prototype Fox two and a half inch uh, shocks that have high speed and low speed compression dampening. We, we mounted the reservoir up here. Uh, wasn't much other place to do it when we did the build. It's running three and a half inch uh, springs right now, front and rear, 40 inch Nitto tires on method wheels, uh, not bead locks. These, as you can see, the wheel hub is almost to the outside of the rim right here. So I didn't put these methods on or we didn't, but I believe these have about five and a quarter backspacing on the rims. And that's the key to this Jeep because this axle under here is the Pro Rock 60 from Dynatrack. But this is the 72 inch wide Pro Rock 60. So 72 inch wide Pro Rock 60 allows you to go with a rim with a bunch of backspacing, suck the tires in and uh, get a good, good scrub radius when it, when it turns and really gives it for good steering geometry. Um, Rage Forth front bumper like we always did. We went ahead and put the um, amber rigid driving lights in there on this last uh, go around. It's got the rigid single row underneath there. Xeon 10S winch. Got the rigid pod lights right up here in the cowl. 
and then if you look underneath here this is our long arm kit so this is the prototype the first long arm kit that we ever built and we did it in six or seven days mounted on this jeep and sent it to moab it's since changed and morphed but this is the the beginning of it and then of course the badass rear axle look at all those axle bolts right there that's the pro rock 80. Um, this this one's 40 spline and take a look in the back another set of fox two and a half inch shocks and the uh, pro rock 80 disc brakes e-brake cables hook back up this thing has our wfo license plate delete on it and rage forth rear bumper with the rigid uh, uh, single series backup lights just an overall really nice driving and built jeep and you know five years ago it was built um, nice for them to come back when it came back here there really wasn't much to change or work on we messed with the lights a little bit and then we did go ahead and add the metal cloak skid plates steel skid plates all the way down on the bottom of course we had to trim a little bit to clear our long arm kit so now uh this jeep is imported from texas and it's ready to go do some serious rock trails out here in california so uh, hope to see him out on the trail. If you see him out on the trail, check out his Jeep, but uh, the original WFO JL Longarm. You want your JL Longarm? You can go to the website right now and buy one. See ya.